Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be animating this fan blade inside of this fan which is attached to the back of our tutorial hanger which we modeled and textured in the previous tutorial. But don't panic, we didn't model this AC. That's what I had to do. Um, well actually I just textured it and attached it to the back of the hanger. And uh, this blend file is available for download in the description so that you can follow along. Um, and I basically designed it in a way in which basically everything's done for you except the animation itself which is what I'm going to be teaching you today. So once you've downloaded the blend file, um, you can just go ahead and zoom in to the fan and you'll notice that the AC itself is split into two different objects, the base of the AC and the fan. And basically, we're just going to be animating the fan because it is the only thing that spins. I'm going to explain how we're going to do it. So we're going to do two different keyframes, one, 90 deg one zero degrees and the other one at 90 degrees. So if you don't know how animations work in Blender, basically I'm just gonna do a simple one here on rotation. Um, I'm gonna add a keyframe on frame zero, I mean not frame one, and then another one on frame 40. And I'm basically just gonna rotate this on the Y axis a whole bunch. And then I'm gonna add another keyframe for rotation. And you can see that basically there's an animation right there. So it's kind of like how the values change over a period of time. So in this case, as plane kind of extrapolates those values, so we don't necessarily have to make it 40 frames. We can just literally narrow it down to two frames. So we're gonna make one frame, which is frame zero at zero degrees, and frame one at 90 degrees. And why are we doing zero and 90 if it's a spinning animation? Well, technically you can narrow down a full loop, a full 360 degree loop um, into two 90 degree turns, we can just loop multiple times to make a 360 degree rotation. Um, if that is confusing, don't worry, you'll see that it works fine in that spleen. And basically, um, I just narrowed it down like that for the sake of simplicity. So what we're gonna do is simply, we're gonna go ahead and if you don't have your timeline up already, which I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of on purpose so that you can pull it up. Basically, just go to the bottom left side of your screen until you see this uh, cross cursor and then just pull up until you open up a new window and then basically from the editor type drop down just go ahead and select timeline and bam there you go so basically there's this blue pointer thing that uh, indicates what frame you're on we're just gonna move that all the way down to zero since we're gonna start on frame zero on the timeline and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a keyframe for rotation. So that is at zero degrees currently. And so let's go ahead and move the cursor to one degree. Uh, I mean, sorry, key frame one. And then we're going to go ahead and type for Y, which is or the axis that we're rotating on. We're going to type in 90 degrees. And then we're basically just going to um, click on I and then add another keyframe for rotation. Or you could just right click on the Y and uh, insert keyframes. That is technically all we have to do for this looping animation and now all that would be left would be the data refs. So if you select the fan object, which is the AC fan inside of the AC fan collection, and then go to your object properties, which is this uh, orange square, and scroll down to where it says data refs, just go ahead and click on add data ref and paste the sim time total underscore running underscore time underscore sec. Uh, data ref that I will link in the description so that you can paste it. This is basically, I guess it takes the time into account. Basically, this is the one that you would use for rotation. That's, you would have to edit this value. So the value is for every X amount of seconds that passes, there will be one full revolution. Go ahead and head on over to frame zero here. And then you'll see that this value field is basically empty. Um, and we're gonna keep it at zero right now because we're at frame zero and This button right here basically adds an at splain data ref keyframe, which is basically just the keyframe based upon this data ref um, And it's also based upon this specific value right here So right now it's at zero because we're at zero degrees and we're gonna go ahead and click on this button while Our cursor is set on the frame zero. So add a keyframe and now we have zero on frame zero so now if we move it to frame one, think of this as kind of like a margin of time. So if I set this to 0.1, 
and then add another keyframe, making sure that we're on frame one on this pointer. Basically, between um, the time that the time that it will take for a full revolution is 0.1 seconds. The lower the number, faster it spins. So the lower the number on frame one. Uh, I've tried 0.25 is a little slow for my liking, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, and point one is like the average spinning fan uh, looking animation. Yeah, so that's pretty much it actually. So if you go ahead and just save your blend file and head on over to the uh, scene properties tab, which is this cone with the spheres on it. Um, literally just click on export OBJs. I've set everything up for you. Wherever your blend file is saved, you will find your object. So. Here I have my AC base and my AC fan uh, along with their textures. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this wherever you have your scenery. So in my case, I have mine here on my JVL objects folder tutorial building. So you can see that I have all the AC fan files and then my tutorial hanger. And then in world editor, you basically wanna make sure that but the same exact way that you place your tutorial hanger, including the latitude, longitude, and heading coordinates, uh, you make sure you want to make sure you paste all of these three values into the AC base and fan objects so that they're placed exactly where they're supposed to be. And then basically I can like just load up into Atsplain and show you guys how the animation looks like. So this is the fan blade in Atsplain. This is basically how it looks like. It is spinning at a pretty fast pace, but this is kind of like how I like it. One thing I would say is keep in mind that the loop animation every needs to be at one and uh yeah that's basically all uh so yeah thanks for watching and i really hope this tutorial was useful to you guys